Setting aside Turkey's currency crisis, what more general trends are affecting emerging economies today? Global economy is going through a major paradigm shift and emerging markets are impacted negatively because of that. If you remember in 2008-9, after the crisis, Fed and uh, ECB pumped incredible liquidity into the financial markets. Fed's uh, balance sheet increased from 900 billion to 4.5 trillion from 2007 to 2017. ECB from 2 trillion to 4 trillion euros. So there was this huge liquidity in the financial markets and emerging markets which need foreign investment benefited substantially. But now there's this paradigm shift. Liquidity is being taken back, strong dollar, high US interest rates, uncertainties, and the commodity and oil prices going up creates an unfavorable context for the emerging markets. And all the emerging markets are being impacted negatively one way or another, but they're not all the same. Especially the ones with high current account deficits, high growth rates and high indebtedness are impacted much negatively than the ones with lower current account deficits and stronger debt dynamics. And this will continue for a while. I think this, this paradigm shifts take a while for everybody to, to get used to. Let's say not easy times ahead. And how is Turkey positioned within the emerging markets? What are your strengths and weaknesses? Yes, Turkey has been impacted negatively. If you look at 2017, Turkey was one of the fastest growing economies after China, 7.4% growth. That growth was good in its own, but created huge current account deficits. And with that current account deficit, when the paradigm shift happened and dollar began to appreciate and some political problems, the currency has been hit really hard. But we should not miss the strengths of the Turkish economy. What made Turkey a very attractive emerging market? Most of those are still in place. Huge market of 80 million people, it's still there. Location, it is still there. A uh, young, well-educated population, positive demographics, it is still there. If you look at the debt dynamics, debt to GDP is less than 30%. Budget deficit, less than 2%. So the indebtedness is probably one of the best in the emerging markets. And on the other side, Turkey has a very diversified industrial base. So the economy does not depend on any single industry or commodity or market that well diversification will serve well going forward. And with that in mind, and us being in Turkey as their insurance group for the long term, there may be ups and downs, but as long as these positive demographics and economic measures are in place, this is just a blip on the long term chart. And uh, we will continue to be profitable, we'll continue to be successful. So we're very confident about the future and in the short term, Yes, sometimes different things happen, not only in Turkey, around the world. We take measures, we move on. Click through for more from Yilmaz Yildiz, discussing the impact of Turkey's currency crisis on the country's insurance industry. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for the latest international business insights from worldfinance.com.